सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोर फोर्स राउंड नाइन थर्टी रिलेटेड फॉर डिविजन टू सो आई विल सॉल्विंग फर्स्ट टू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सेट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ प्रॉब्लम नंबर ए विच इज शफल पार्टी सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई विल बी गिवन ए एरे ऑफ एन साइज एंड इनिशियली ऑल ऑफ माई वैल्यू वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू आई ओनली एंड देर इज ऑपरेशन लाइक स्वैप ऑफ के वेयर के इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू एंड विच इज डिवाइडेड बिलो आई विल सिलेक्ट द इंटीजर दी डी विच इज लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ के एंड आई वट आई विल डू आई विल सिंपली स्वैप ए ऑफ डी विद ए ऑफ के ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी टेल यू विद दिस एड स्केस सो इनिशियली आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट टू सो वट इज द लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ टू दैट इज वन ओनली सो आई विल स्वैप वन विद टू दैट इज हेयर विल टू बी टू वन थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सिमिलरली वट इज द लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ थ्री दैट इज वन सो आई विल स्वैप इंडेक्स वन विद इन इंडेक्स थ्री सो हेयर विल बिकम टू वन ओनली टू फोर एंड फाइव नो वट इज द लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ फोर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस एरे और आई कैन से इंडेक्स विच इज लार्जेस्ट इंडेक्स विच इज विच इज द लार्जेस्ट इंडेक्स विच इज डिवाइजर ऑफ फोर दैट इज टू सो बी सिमिलरली सैप फोर टू वन फाइव हेयर एंड वट इज द लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ फाइव दैट इज थ्री सो आई विल सिंपली स्वैप फाइव एंड थ्री इन द नेक्स्ट एस के नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन सो एट द एंड ऑफ द एरे आई टू डेल वट इज द फाइनल पोजिशन ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर वन इन माई आंसर सो यू कैन सी देर इज वेटी मच सिंपलर प्रॉब्लम वेन वेन माई वन वेन एट द पोजिशन वेयर माई वन बी बी स्वैप दीज आर द ओनली पोजिशन विच आर डिविजल बाई टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई माई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई वन विल कम बाई टू ओके बिकॉज द लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर ऑफ टू इज वन ओनली नो फॉर वट वैल्यू माई टू इज लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम माई वन विल ओनली बी स्वैप आई विल रिपीट फॉर वट वैल्यू माई टू इज लार्जेस्ट डिवाइजर Because for that value only, my one will be swept again. So that is four only. Which means if four is there in my array, then my one will go here. Okay. Now for what value? My four is large divisor. That is for eight. Which means if there would be eight in my array, then my one would go at eight. And similarly from eight to sixteen, and from sixteen to thirty-two. Okay. So in this question, what we have to do? We have to simply tell what is the largest power of two, which is smaller than or equal to. I can say largest power of two, which is more than or equal to l x n. So I have to tell them what is what is the value of this two to the two to the power x. So this is the whole problem in intuition and solution. So let's now discuss problem B binary path. So this is pretty much interesting problem I could say. So let me ex try to explain with this case. So this is a test case. So in this problem, let's suppose there is a grasshopper which is sitting at this index. Okay. In one operation, he can jump either to next index or to downward index. These are the only possible move. If in if grasshopper is at this index, then he can only move forward only. Okay. Because no downward option is now available to him. Now he want to reach from this index to this index. Okay. This is the problem. This is the condition in this problem. Okay. Now we have to tell them what is the lexicographically minimum string possible of the answer. For example, let me take you as a test case. This. So in this test case, what is the lexicographically smallest string, which is also answer? I could say that one one zero zero zero. This is the only possible string and smallest possible lexicographically smallest possible string, which could lead us to answer. And how it is forming? Like one, one, then zero. Then I will move downwards and then rightwards. Okay, so this is the lexicography smallest string which is possible. So I will tell them what is this string and how many possible count are there from which I can generate this similar string. Okay, so in this case there is only one way to generate this this string. Okay, now let back to this case only. How to find the answer? Okay, so I will start greedily. Okay, I will tell you greedily how you can. Tell the how you can efficiently find the answer of this problem. Okay, now now let's discuss it. So first of all, I will tell you how you can. Uh, you will only move greedily in this question, but how greedily? Let me take it now. Okay, great. Now it is okay. So I will start from this index. Okay. Now first of all, I will start from many because this this index will always come in my answer. So I will write it here. Okay, my answer is there. Also, I will I will maintain a count variable which is 
which is maintaining that how many possible strings are possible number of ways are there to generate the minimum lexical of the smallest string okay great so i will start from here which means my zero will always be there in my answer okay what next now i have two candidates which i will i can go to this index or either i can go to this index yes this is the only possible ways which he can go now now i also want to generate the lexicographical smallest string so i will simply come here which is the smallest possible string in this in both of these you can say the smallest possible in both of these is zero so i will never go to one i will always go to zero so let me go ahead from zero to here okay the, now this is my path now i will also add zero here okay zero now what next now you know but are the two possible strings which i will compare now the pos the two possible strings are this one and this one because from this point i can either go to this or i can either go to this these are the two possible ways yes these are only two possible ways so these are both equal okay great now i can either go to this or i can either go to this but how can we know if i go to this i may get a lexicographic more smaller string or if i go here then now then i can get a lexicography more smaller string but because these are both the cases but but where i can go so let me take now let me tell you another example if i go to this index okay if i go to this index i now now what are the position where i can go next i can either go to this index or i can either go to this index yes now where are the points from which i can go from this index the only possible way from this to go only to the index index okay which means this is the common in both of both of the points which means either way i will go into this index only or this index which means if i go down then i can go only this. if i go down from this if i go down from this then i can only go to this one okay but if i go to one this one which means next one then i can go to this one also and next zero also which means i will be having a availability of both the numbers now in that case what i will do i will simply try to go further which means i will not try to move downwards if both of the them are equal then i will go i will, I will always go forward in, in my upper string because at then i will only getting to the this, this index but if i am going to upper index but if i am going on the upper string then i will be having again two choices either this or this then i can make the choice so similarly also you are getting you here you can see my this and this one are equal so i will always go to my right index to my upper index only so i will let it one only now you can see my here one and zero the in which my in this my zero is greater than one so i will go to next index only okay great next next now here you can see my zero zero are both equal similarly what i have told if both of them equal then similarly go to the next index in the upper string okay great next index now what now again both of them equal now again i will go to this index only now again both of them are equal then again this only now you can see my one is greater than zero which means in the in this scenario i have to go downwards okay i will go downwards now next i i have only one choice left which means i have to go to this index now this is my final string that is zero zero one zero zero one one zero one okay yes if i show the answer this is answer one zero zero one zero zero one one zero one okay so i hope so i'm getting it how i can print the answer of the string let me try to tell you the another test case like zero 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 one 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 zero zero one now here it is zero zero one one zero now this is a random test case now what is the answer so i will start from here okay great now you can see now both of them equal so i will go to this this time this this next again both of them both of them are equal now again to this index now again both of them are equal now i will simulate go to this index only same now again equal so again this index but in this test case you can see my one is greater than zero so i have to move downwards okay now if at any point i'm moving downwards then i cannot make any other choice i have to only go in forward direction only so this is the answer in this case which is equal to zero 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 one one zero zero one one zero so that's how you can print the answer for this test case but how to find the count now this is a pretty much interesting problem so now back to test this test case okay now you tell me um, if let me raise something yes now you can see if i am at this index i will go to this okay because my zero is greater than one 
okay great now if i'm now in this case you can see my both of the indexes are equal if my both of the indexes are equal okay if my, listen carefully if my both of the indexes are equal which means i can either get to this index from this from this turn or from this turn okay let me repeat it again i will go to here okay now both of them are equal in this in this time i am having two choices either i will go to this index or either i will go to this, this index okay if my in here you can see what is the next operation which i will be comparing i will be comparing these two okay okay great now if my let's suppose there is a test case like 0 0 1 and 1 1 1 let's suppose it is 0 and here it is 1 okay now you can see what is the answer 0 0 no hit here, here both of them are equal so let me try to check if i'm going to this index i will go to this i will go to this index okay again one but if i go to this index now again also both of them both of them are equal to one okay great so there's no point of checking it so now again checking it here it is zero here it is one here it is zero so in this case it is valuable for me to go to this this index okay so let me tell you in this test case again zero zero now both of them are equal both of them are equal so i will go to next index okay great now you can see my in this test case my zero is greater than one okay my zero is greater than, greater than one which means going to this index is not valuable to me at all which means if there is a point like if there is an answer coming like either at, either i either i can get answer like something going from here to some like some answer like zero to zero or something like that or i can go to zero or this index this time so this is not possible because my zero is greater than one zero is more than one which means i will always maintain the my upper string so i will go in upper string only okay great now you can see my both the zeros are equal okay now in the answer what i can do i can either go from this to this or i can either go from this to this my both of them are valid so i will simply increase my count okay okay increase my count plus one similarly my these ones are also equal which means i can either go from this to this times or from this to this both of them are equal so i will again count increase my count now these two are also equal which means i can either go from this to this or either go from this to this so i will also increase my count here okay great so similarly you can see i can always count this much possible times of number by this value my previous index of my second string is equal to next index of my first string so that time i will increase my count but if any case my upper value is greater than my previous value then i will reset my count because the previous value does not count because if you are saying that this is also equal but, but, but this will not count because here you can see i will always try to go on upper string because my zero is greater than one so if i show the code what i am doing i am simply adding the by default uh, first value of my first string in my answer and what i am doing if my current if my first string letter is smaller than my second string then i will do i will simply add the my first string answer and reset my count to one because you can see my zero is here my zero is more than one this one so let me erase this my zero is my this zero is smaller than this one so which means choosing choosing between these this one are worthless because i will always choose this one so my previous count will be reset to one only now if my both of them are equal then i will increase my count because i can either go because you can see my these two index are equal which means in my final answer i can go from this to this or i can go from this to this both of them are valid so i will increase my count and simply add, add it in my answer else wise if my downwards value is downward value is smaller here you can see my zero is smaller than my this one so i will never go to upper to upper string i will always turn my path this way and move in the downward direction only so if my now what i will do i will simply break it here and all of the values which are smaller than j because if at any point i'm getting at the downward downward string in that case i can never change my path again so i will simply add all the values in string to till my j is smaller than n and simply give in print the answer and count so that's how you can solve the problem b if you have any doubts, you can comment below. Till then, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.